Well, good evening, YouTubers. Uh, this little video I'm putting together tonight is just a short little video. I've had uh, a few uh, comments and private messages about the dolly build uh, for the uh, Kubota tractor uh, for the BH77 backhoe uh, attachment. Um, anyway, as you know, the weight box is on it for the winter and uh, whatnot. But uh, is what I put together is this little frame on the bottom of of the uh, attachment here and it's just made out of two by sixes and I have some casters underneath uh, these are swivel on this end on the uh, the boom side and the tractor side it's just uh, uh, solid casters I believe they're 250 pound uh, casters the front ones were 150 pound um, I opted to go with the wood again as the uh, the wood was free uh, I think the best way to go I have a single plank on the bottom and I stack the wood on top and put the wheels directly under as the backhoe attachment weighs approximately 800 pounds. Um, anyway, this end of the tractor here, uh, the thing is, is it depends on the height of your tractor. It depends on the height of your wheels, um, your tires. So uh, trial and error, mine is uh, 10 inches high at the uh, at at the uh, attachment side it's 10 inches high that's from the floor to the top is 10 inches high um, the boom side is exactly seven inches from the floor to the top um, the reason for that is when you go to take the attachment off this pin may not actually come completely out of the cradle here um, if it doesn't in your case well then you just add another block of wood underneath um, this unit uh, here is 59 inches long. That's 59 inches from this side here to that side there. You could probably make it five feet, another inch. I, it probably wouldn't matter. The idea is, is just to center your, the bottom of your outriggers on the plate here. Um, I do use a, uh, a, a tie down across here to keep your uh, things from sagging. But uh, overall it works uh, pretty damn good. Um, the width is uh, 32 inches wide across the back from each side of the outriggers. Across is 32 inches. Um, the front side of it is 23 inches across. 23 inches. But uh, it's, it's actually quite the, the setup as you can see. It rolls around. I'm, I'm pushing it with one hand and it just moves around like it's nothing. You roll it straight up to the tractor. You roll it up till your things are right in here in the seating and connect your hydraulic hose and push your boom forward and it pushes it right up into place. Lock your pins and away you go. It's really that simple. That simple. It took me uh, not even 15 minutes to build. Um, I screwed it together with just normal uh, square head wood screws. The uh, the bottom casters I put on with a uh, I used a good three and a half inch uh, wood thread bolt on the four uh, four holes to screw that on. But uh, yeah, and there you have it. It's uh, dolly done. I mean, you can pull it, move it, turn it, any which way you want to go. Boom, it's that simple. You roll it up to the tractor, this rolls all the way into the, uh, into the uh, mounting bracket. It slides all the way in, so when you're lifting it, you're just pushing it down. You know you got it right when you can, uh, when you can just lift your boom like so, drop it into the cradle position, and unplug your hydraulic hoses and roll it away. It's, it's that simple. Which is nice here in the shop. I can roll it right to the side like so and it's uh, completely out of the way. But there you have it. There's absolutely nothing to building that dolly whatsoever. You're basically making like a, almost a triangle type thing out of wood. So uh, again, 10 inches high at the front from the floor to the top, um, including the casters. 7 inches at the, uh, at the bucket side from the floor to the top, 59 inches long, 
23 inches wide and that depends on like what type of casters you buy whatever it is trial and error like I said you set the boom down on it if it doesn't pull off the tractor easily put another block of wood in right on top here to raise it up more because this height from here to the floor here to the floor should be the exact same height sitting in here from the top to the floor very simple folks very simple easy to build and as always we're out in the shop Milwaukee's best ice having a pint and there ain't no job to get done today so short video uh, I hope this helps um, like I said, simple to put together. Um, I didn't build it out of steel, as steel is very expensive and time consuming to work with for such a simple thing. It's only to store it in the winter time. Um, I didn't have to be too elaborate on it, whatever. Um, I also did build a, uh, a stand underneath my, my weight box here, like so, to set it on. Just takes the weight off the, uh, off the, the axles of the tractor when it's parked it's sitting you know instead of keeping the weight on the machine and uh, another very smart 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 modification that you can do to these Kubota tractors is the bucket cutting edge boom and stiffen the side walls of course of the bucket I use some good plate down each side here to man it makes a hell of a difference on the machine it makes it almost uh, it makes it bulletproof so anyway folks See you again.